97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of E973. I'm your host, Jose Kwame, and I'll be bringing you entertainment news making headlines over the past week on both the foreign and local scenes. Now let's jump into the foreign scene, which has seen a lot of deaths in the industry, with all of them having one thing in common, cancer. David Bowie, a legendary musician, died at age 69 of cancer. Alan Rickman of Harry Potter fame died at 69 with cancer. And of course, the biggest hit of the week, two in a row in a space of 48 hours, Celine Dion has seen her husband and older brother die of cancer in just a space of 48 hours, leaving her all alone, which she doesn't want, really, nobody wants to be alone. And now to the Oscars, arguably film's biggest award show, and this being the 88th edition, has yet again seen an all-white party, and I don't mean dress code, I mean all black films and black actors have been kicked to the curb with brilliant performances from Will Smith in Concoction and Ibrahim Mata in Beast of No Nation, of course, with Idris Elba getting no nominations whatsoever. Now, on social media, people are saying, should black people boycott this event altogether with Jada Pinkett Smith leading the charge saying that maybe people of color should restrain from participating in this event altogether. I don't know about that, but hey, <laughs> we'll see. I can confidently say that a week without Shatawale in the news makes a really dull one. Hip Life artist known as Charles Ni Ama Mensa is in the news again for the same controversy which has been rising or surfacing year after year over the Ghana Music Awards. So Shatawale has decided to submit his music for the 2016 Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. As to why he did that, nobody knows. But the question remains, will the organizers accept his submissions? And speaking of controversy, Big Brother The Chase stars Elikem Kumoji and Pokelo Nare have welcomed their first child. Now sources close to them say that the couple who got married in June 2015 welcomed a baby girl during the Christmas festivities. Now with a calculation from the date they got married to when Pokelo gave birth to the baby girl, well, conspiracy theories and speculations are saying that the couple must have rushed into the marriage because Pokello was already pregnant. And finally, 2015 has seen a lot of showbiz personalities venturing into the world of politics, with Abeku Santana, Mr. Fred Jokoto, all standing for different political parties. But the latest with regards to this development is sound engineer and producer Zab Mallet saying that it's a very commendable move for showbiz personalities to venture in the world of politics. And this was his reason. If showbiz people go into politics, this will very much help the art industry. Now my question is, is this the answer for the art industry for growth and for development if they find showbiz people in there? Will it work? Will it not work? Well, we'll see. So that's it for this edition of E973 on City TV. Follow us on Twitter at City Showbiz and my personal Twitter account at OS Kwame. And remember, E973 is on your mobile device and social media every Tuesday morning, so make a date.